Hi guys, today we're going to do a flip through of my Pell Studio um, A6 Travelers Notebook. So it is in the T Rose, I believe, the T Rose leather. So I also got the, the glitter spine, but I have heard since then that the glitter spine can split, it's not leather. So um, I would probably get a leather spine if I ordered it again. Um, other than that, I really love it and um, it's full of all my favourite things. I usually just keep it off the side of my desk and then I can um, just put anything in there if I want to. So it's not necessarily a, like an everyday carry. I just um, have it there set up and it's more of a decorative uh, and sort of a, plan a decorative planner slash journal and um, just for special things. And so you can see there, I have it pretty chunked out. I have um, a few different inserts in here and all the sort of silk tabs and everything that sort of spill out the sides from the journals that I make. So in the move, I think something must have been sitting on top of it and it's got a little bit of an indent in the leather, but it is coming out the more it's, and sometimes I just kind of put this on top of it and then like some, or something flat on top of it to try and smooth that out. And it does seem to be working. It seems to be coming out. So I think that'll be fine. Okay, so let's go inside. So the first thing that we have here is um, the pockets and I have a few little stickers and things in the pockets just a couple of um, that they are functional stickers but I kind of keep them there decoratively I really love seeing people's planner setups and um, all these really amazing things that they do and I um, kind of just decided that I, I needed to do um, to fill this kind of with the things that I need or that I like so I just I ended up not having kind of um if you know functional things in this one it's just more um like all these little stickers these are from paper blush by their little cakes and they remind me of the cakes that we make and then there's some bows from my newest addiction and um some stickers from white deer stationery so I really love those and then I think I got this star paper just from um michael's and then i have a vintage like some vintage lace from france it's really delicate and pretty and just kind of sits on the glitter paper from michael's it doesn't really move and then here we also have some papers from michael's which i've just made into a um kind of an envelope like a double sort of envelope um insert so i can keep extra things in there but when i was making it i didn't have any uh permanent double-sided tape left so I've got to sort of go in and reinforce the sides but I really like having that in there just for extra things. This charm is from K&Co and I think is it K&Co XOXO and I really love her shop and I love her logo as well and then this is a journaling card from Planner Press which I really love it's my favorite. Um, and then we move on to the middle insert. So this is a journal that I made. It's got French beaded lace on the front and silk petal. And so I make these journals with all my favorite things. I sew them with silk thread and there's lace and there's um, silk ribbons. And so um, you'll see that throughout this flip through as well. So this is a little lace printable and these will be in my shop this week. And um, I made that just a little pocket there at the front and I've got little like just little bits of stickers and um, you know all my favorite colors favorite papers and so this is a vintage uh, book plate from Paris and it's on cotton vellum and um, you can see there like the image behind it so this is also like an antique painting um, and then I've got some chul. So if you've seen my Cinderella um, collection videos this probably isn't new to you and I don't know if I should like go through it all again so I, I might just kind of let you watch this part and then I will come back to you um, after that for the journal with me. 
So, and you can see here that I've added just little bits of um, junk journaling things. I really enjoy having this just available to try things in or to add like extra special things or things that I'm thinking about or working on um, and just, you know, being able to have it handy. So I'm not in a rush to fill this up. I just kind of do this every now and then and add little bits in. So you'll see that with like, for example, here are some free printables from Facebook and um, we'll be using those at the end to put some tip-ins in and to do some Easter journaling. So something that you might be interested in when we're kind of at home at the minute and um, looking for things to do or looking to kind of for inspiration, I do have a pack in my shop that a lot of these images are from and so you can print them out at home and create an insert like this. So it's the Cinderella pack and then there's the ephemera pack that matches but all of these pages are pre sort of done in this pack and you can just print them out and then fold them to whatever um, fold them and cut them so I made them standard size but this is an A6 so I've just cut them down for that and they'll work in a B6 slim um, some of the pages will even work like in an A5 or in a B, uh, B6 as well so um, that is an option if you're looking for something you know at home to create like this you might have fabrics you can add in like these are some silks that are added in um, other papers that you've gathered or scrapbook papers that you want to add in as well I tried to make it really um, user friendly and like kind of intuitive so you can print them out and fold them and then create these really amazing inserts so um, the ephemera packs you can see a little bit of it here and you can fold those over and create little tabs that are also pockets and I love to just pop little things in here um, so you've probably seen that in some of my other journal flip throughs um, I really enjoyed doing that and of course you don't have to have these exact images you can just use a strip of um, patterned paper that you like and fold that over and then create these little pockets as well but I just really enjoy having these papers and so I've printed them out on like pearlescent papers or cotton vellums most, mostly um, but you can print them out just on regular um, you know printer paper and you'll end up with something that's really special and customizable as well uh, and then this is my last insert so I have another piece of lace on here uh, vintage lace which I haven't actually adhered I've just put it um, on with that little heart brad and so that just sits on there really nicely on the vellum um, I like the vellum over the top of this paper with the gold dots and then I have another one of these um, envelope inserts and I will do a video on those when I can as well and then this is an insert printable from Jacinia Printables, the Planner Sophisticate, and I love this insert. It was a collaboration with my newest addiction, and I believe these are her stickers as well. So I really like having that there if I want to do some um, sticker planning, which I really like to do. And then at the back here, I just have a little collection of uh, other little tags and things that are in my favorite sort of color palette.
So that's just a basic flip through of um, this planner. And then I thought we would do a little um, journal with me so you can kind of see how I use it. So it's, um, it shouldn't be, it's not too long. The um, It's not a very extensive one. I just had a couple of things that I wanted to put in there from Easter. And so even though this is a short journal with me, um, I and I didn't like do a lot of work in here. I just I kind of letting everything speak for me. So the pastel um, wrappers, and then I'm using this printable. So I basically created this as a free printable. We created it as a free printable to so it's available in the Facebook group, and I have uh, printed it out on like pearl paper from Amazon. But you can just print this out, and then you just cut it out. You can use your um, you don't have to use scissors, you know, if you want to use um, your cutting board, you can. And then I am just basically going to show you how you can use this to attach tip-ins. So there are a few different ways you can use these and you can just use them as tabs. You can kind of use them as tab pockets if you just glue the top and the bottom. And then you'll have like a little pocket at the side. You can tuck something in there. But I am just gluing all around it and I'm going to use it as more of like a page hinge. I really enjoy it when you can use things like this and it takes a lot of the work out of the page for you but it makes the page look um, really well done and really elaborate so this you know didn't take me very long but it looks really well put together so I was really happy to be able to offer these on the Facebook group as a freebie so if you do use them let me know um, you can use the hashtag heirloom Lux journaling or just heirloom lux and um, we'll all be able to see anything you create with that so that would be really nice as well and so here you can see i'm still working on the layout and where to put everything and i'm just using basic glue here so i do recommend that you use like acid free um like book you know adhesive but you know the the regular glue if you need to use that that works really well too so i'm just showing you that here um, and I like to use that quite often just in my own journals um, and then I've just realized here at the um, the hinge has actually come off so it's the glue's not adhering to the shiny paper so I'm just I've just pulled out some permanent tape there double-sided tape and um, I just use that and that works really well so and you can see while I'm doing this is a lot of back and forth in kind of trying to decide um, and I want to use this little red ribbon here I'm not sure where to put it so I just figure I could just um, put it there and just wait until I use it or it might end up staying on that page but I don't mind it there and I keep sort of flipping back and forward um, seeing what I can add and then these are some tags that are in my um, Etsy shop and I just figured that I could use one of these again to uh, an easy way to make the page um, look more finished and more polished. And so I'm kind of trying to pick some things that I think help depict the day and um, it was a really nice day. It was a restful and kind of peaceful day, especially with everything that we've had going on, um, you know, that we've all been struggling with. So it was nice just to have sort of a quiet um, calm day and uh, you can see here that I'm putting the glue and like you should be using a an old paintbrush or, or something but I'm just using my fingers here and um, I, I, I I leave the um, tag ha hanging off the bottom of the page there a little bit so I like to do that to just 
elongate the page and give it a bit more length. And it also means that I can have a, a little bit more writing space as well. And so I thought about writing this with my gold ink and um, dip pen, but I just wanted to get this done quickly. So I just um, pulled out my gel pen and um, this is a Spectrum Noir, I think it's, so it was my sister's and I think it, um, it's like the, oh, what's the other one called that's um, just the glitter pen? Hang on. Hmm. The Wink of Stella, so it's a lot like the Wink of Stella. And um, so I just put a little bit of that down for a bit of colour and sparkle. And then I'm just writing across the top of it. One of the nice things about journaling in this style is that you can use up all kind of funny little um, places on the paper. You can write over things. You can use Sharpies or gold pens or glitter pens or gel pens um, to write over the top of things. I like to, like you'll see me in a minute, change the direction here and write something um, in the pink pen on the other page. So it's really nice just to add little bits of writing in all sorts of unexpected places. So I thought I was done but I went through, I added another tag and then I also, oh, two tags and a little bit of um, writing with a liquid um, liquid fine liner on the silver so it's kind of hidden and then I decided to cut out another tag here and make a little pocket so I, I'm, I pulled the other page over so I could see to make sure I was placing it where it would still be seen around the corner and um, yeah I've created a little tuck spot there and so that is basically it I'm happy with that journaling for today and I can um, use that next page to put some photos in or something like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you uh, pretty soon with another video bye for now